reading from Prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me to the entrance of the temple, where a stream came out from under the temple threshold and flowed eastwards, since the temple faced east. The water flowed from under the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He took me out by the north gate and led me right round outside as far as the outer east gate where the water flowed out on the right hand side. He said, this water flows east down to the Araba and to the sea. And flowing into the sea, it makes its waters wholesome. Wherever the river flows, all living creatures teeming in it will live. Fish will be very plentiful, for wherever the water goes, it brings health and life teems wherever the river flows. Along the river, on either bank, will grow every kind of fruit tree with leaves that never wither and fruit that never fails. They will bear new fruit every month because this water comes from the sanctuary and their fruit will be good to eat and the leaves medicinal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is for us a refuge and strength, a helper close at hand in time of distress. So we shall not fear, though the earth should rock, though the mountains fall into the depths of the sea. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within, it cannot be shaken. God will help it at the dawning of the day. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come, consider the works of the Lord, the redoubtable deeds he has done on the earth. The waters of a river give joy to God's city, the holy place where the Most High dwells. Let us stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia. 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 I have chosen and consecrated this house, says the Lord, for my name to be there forever. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Just before the Jewish Passover, Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And in the temple, he found people selling cattle and sheep and pigeons and the money changers sitting at their counters there. Making a whip out of some cords, He drove them all out of the temple, cattle and sheep as well, scattered the money changers' coins, knocked their tables over and said to the pigeon sellers, take all this out of here and stop turning my father's house into a market. Then his disciples remembered the words of scripture, zeal for your house will devour me. The Jews intervened and said, What sign can you show us to justify what you have done? Jesus answered, 
destroy this sanctuary and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews replied, it has taken 46 years to build this sanctuary. Are you going to raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the sanctuary that was his body. And when Jesus rose from the dead, his disciple remembers that when he had said this and they believed the scripture and the words he had said. The Gospel of the Lord. Today we celebrate this special church of St. John Lateran, the Cathedral Church of the Diocese of Rome. And to this day, the great basilica is the Pope's cathedral as the Bishop of Rome, symbolizing his unity with his people scattered throughout the world, not only in his own diocese. And on this holy feast day, then, we are united with the Pope, but also with our brothers and sisters who are members of the body of Christ. We are united by the same spirit and called to live holy lives. The Lateran Basilica called the mother and head of all the churches in the city and the world, and those words are printed inside the Lateran Basilica, was the first basilica to be built after the Emperor Constantine's edict in the year 313, granting Christians freedom to practice their religion. The emperor himself gave Pope Militiades the ancient palace of the Lateran family. The basilica, the baptistry, and the Bishop of Rome's residence, where popes lived until Avignon period, were all built there. The basilica's dedicated dedication was celebrated by Pope Sylvester in the year 324, the year before the Nicene Council. Initially, the observance of this feast was confined just to the city of Rome. But in 1565, it was extended to all churches of the Roman Rite. The honouring of this sacred edifice was a way of expressing love and veneration for the Roman Church, which, as St Ignatius of Antioch said, presides in charity over the whole Catholic communion. Today's feast celebrates a mystery that is always relevant. God, God's desire to build a spiritual temple in this world, a community that worships him in spirit and in truth, a community that values life from conception to a natural death, the spirit that drives each of us in union with the whole Catholic Church must also drive us to stand against the evils of our own time. This weekend, we remember a very terrible war, the war to end all wars, it was thought, because the carnage of human life was so terrible. And yet, and yet, a Second World War ensued after such a brief interval. Many other wars have been fought and are even now being fought around the world. The cry of peace rising for, from so many dying and maimed people. The cry for protection must also be rising even from the earth itself, suffering huge destruction and devastation. These cries must be heard, not only in heaven, but in the hearts of all men and women. Our feast today not only reminds us of the spiritual parentage and values, but also our material world, the buildings in which the spiritual community gathers to celebrate the praises of God, for which it is the duty to take special care. These buildings dedicated to the worship of God must remain places of prayer and praise and be shown respect by our behaviour when in them. For this, for unity, for peace, we call upon the intercession of Mary, most holy, that she help us to become like her, the house of God, a living temple spreading love and peace to all mankind. As our opening prayer runs, O God, who from living and chosen stones prepare an eternal dwelling place for your majesty. 
increase in your church the spirit of grace you have bestowed, so that by new growth your faithful people may build the heavenly Jerusalem. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen.